Hi guys, this is Sean Alta from IT Beast, and today we are going to create a project in Node.js and we will uh, create a basic boilerplate which we will use in future for any purpose which will be uh, for uh, front end use or back end use. So, moving forward, we first have to check uh, do we have Node.js in our system? For that, I will open my PowerShell here and check my Node version like this. So, I am running my Node version which is 12.0.0 and further i will check my npm is running fine or not so i will just add npm minus v here and check my version of uh, npm after that what we can do is we will come back to the desired folder in which you want to create a project you will add a simple folder and its name would be anything i am adding it as test project boilerplate okay so I'm adding it like this after doing that what I can do I can open this project and right click here open any kind of terminal here if you want to open any uh, any of your terminals like command prompt or PowerShell you can open all of those but currently I can obviously use git terminal that is more easy and convenient and much much more you know interactive so I will just increase the text out of it and uh, moving forward i will check again here npm minus v so it is already installed now i will add npm initialize command init and i will now give the package a name the name would be i will if you want to add your customized name you can add it here like api and version is okay description you can add test description it is not compulsory to add all of those fields if you don't want to change them just enter it down so we want index.js to be the entry point we will just enter it no test commands needed no repository needed and no keywords needed to be added so you can add your name here like i am zishan i will add just my name and i can see that it is assigning it and basic isc license that is okay now this is the package json file it will create when you press enter after writing down yes here so once i enter it it will create a package json file for you now your project basic file is created here you can just open this code in your ide any desired ide i am opening it in uh, vs code that you know i really like working in just closing it down now you can see in package json you have your name version description main file that is index.js but it doesn't create that index file so the first things first you should add your index.js file here index.js files here now once you have added them what you should see that there are no start scripts added so you will just add a start script for your application and you can add start for your dev environment you just add colon here it's not necessary but it's good you add your different commands for different purpose so i will just add node index dot js opening a terminal into our ide i will just write down npm run start so it means that npm will search the command name start and it will run it on its own and running means that it will run that start command oh, oh sorry it's not start now it's start colon dev so its name is start colon dev so it will search this start colon dev command and it will run any kind of you know script edit into its values so once i enter it you can see it is searching for the script and running the node index.js directly so that's how it works so in order to check whether our uh, index file is working or not i will just write it down console here and write hello work and save it again running it will you know console it down but here you can see you are not persisting it you know it's in the, it's a run and it disclose uh, disposes the application on its, on its own for that purpose you can use nodemon for nodemon you just first of all have to install nodemon in onto your system so for installing nodemon you first have to go to its package and see what actually it is and for what purposes you can use it nodemon is actually a third party uh you know package that is being provided you can see it's downloaded it is pretty popular and while using 
this node mode command you can run and persist your application while in you are in dev uh, development environment so you can just install it using you know just i'm just copying it which is npm my node mode now the as you can see there is no node modules folder already here so once you add any of your first any of your first uh, package it will automatically create a node module folder that is also be covered right now as we are adding a new package that is node mode entering it will you know take some time it depends upon your internet how for how fast it is or not so just waiting for that now you can see node modules folder is created it comes with the basic uh, what you can say a uh, basic defined packages that are in node by default and along with any of the customized downloadable packages that once we have added so currently i have only added node mode so you can see it is already added into the package json file and then what you can see here is in package json file you have its variant that is also a complete logic behind that so as we were discussing that node mode is added automatically once we add that command and run it now going back to our package json instead of node i will just write node mon right and it will run node mon instead of node so once i run my command again it will be running through node mon and once that is running it is it again listens to that file and if there is any change in it it will you know automatically rerun it so that's the main purpose purpose of node mon when you are in development mode no, now moving forward from node mon uh, we are going to create a complete HTTP server which will respond to a request on a specific port. So for that purpose, we can use HTTP module. Before using any module into our code, let me explain what module is and how you can install it into your application in order to, you know, uh, start the process of the application. Node modules are actually modules provided by NPM package manager, which is which has its own website you can you know go on to the npmjs.com so as you can read out of the read out of this uh, link that it is actually the you know biggest platform for all of your npm packages you can obviously create your own package upload it but for the use of it you can you just have to you know write any desired package you want for example for file uploading if you want to find any package it will you know give you top package on uh, the best packages on your on top of your the list and you can you know go through them the best possible way what you can do here is you can just open one of those links check their weekly downloads check that are they you know um, recently uploading the changes fixing bugs and wh who are the collaborators go through their profiles go through the github of this particular project like this you know and get the best out of it so that is obviously another part we can cover it out later but for now it's pretty simple you just uh, install them and use them and for using them there are a lot of examples given already here for example uh, if you want to check the use of it for example if i have to check how to use right npm package for http so what it will provide you it will provide you first of all the basic links like this it is actually a main http module this is actually the code one that you have to you know where you can go here into its github and see what kind of rating it is and then find its code examples so for finding code examples you will just write these kind of you know things and see for any best possible website that is for example it is not just dot f now you will go here it will give you the idea like if it is installed into your system you can just you know require it use it out like this simply uh, it is actually explaining all of the basic stuff and along with that how you can use it you can use it like this it will give you two parameters one of them is request and the other one is response and request is uh, consists of you know any type of uh, request that is being done from the client side that could be get post put but for now we are not concentrating we're just trying to you know build the basic get request in order to run the application so what we will do here is we will just use this HTTP 
module now this HTTP module the question arises that we have to install it but for now we don't have to install it because it is actually the node modules built-in module so you don't have to install you will just copy paste this line and run it you can see it will give obviously intelligence of it so it is already been there you know by the node.js basic or you can say native library so you don't have to install it specifically further down what you can do here is you can just copy the way how it is working how they are actually using it so the best possible way of using it is this one so you just copy it how you can you know create a server out of it i'm just copying it to save my time now you can see what it is doing here is it is calling a function i will remove it for your convenience here this function is provided on that so it will obviously be coming into your intelligence so what it is doing here is create calling that function and passing a and passing a so uh, after calling that we are further calling a callback function which require two parameters in it which the one of them is a request and the other one is response so our basic purpose is to send response we can write like this in a response sorry for that just write a simple string right and after that what you can do here is you can dot listen to a specific port that for for now it would be 3000 and the patterns they are using we don't need them we just need to call it like this so after saving that i will go on to my browser scholar waiting for the better response so after adding this 3000 port you just only have to add the result dot end so that it ends your process after saving this now if i am going to my browser i will just write it down like this and it will automatically listen to my local host which is my you know local host ip and after colon add your port you can obviously change this port using these command just you know changing the id of the port similarly you have to call the desired port and it will give you the response now here you can obviously enhance your application create a server out of it and i in the next few lectures i will try to explain how you can render pages onto a uh, node uh, application uh, maybe it will you if you want to create a front-end application how you can render how you get the data into the pages and we will discuss one of the main uh, templating engines that not provided us but for now it is uh, the current content of this video is completed and i hope so that you have enjoyed it a lot and you will learn out of it and thank you for support keep subscribing my channel thank you very much